We are learning more about what led to a deadly shooting in Aurora last night. Three people were shot, including a woman who was killed. And tonight, the suspect is still on the run. Good evening. I'm Kelly Worthman. Thank you for joining us. We first told you about this breaking news at 10 o'clock. A gunman opened fire during a Christian church service in Aurora. It happened near 6th and Airport. Police responded to the scene just after 8.30. And we have learned the two men shot are pastors at that church. Michael Abeda, following this story, for us tonight. And Michael, you spoke to members of that church today. How are they doing? Well, Kelly, understandably, they are rocked to their core, but they say that their faith will help bring them peace. Surveillance video from a neighboring business captured the moment three people were shot during a church service at Iglesia Farol de Luz in Aurora Friday night. Surveillance video also shows a car speeding away from the scene after the shooting. Two pastors were shot and taken to the hospital. They survived, but a woman who was also shot died at the scene. A fourth person was taken to the hospital for reasons not related to the shooting. My heart broken too. Javier Rodunia is a member of the church, but he was not at the service Friday night because he was helping victims of the Marshall Fire recover items from homes that were burned. He says their congregation is devastated. Try to plan to right now to console all those brothers and sisters and kids and get uh, therapies and help. He says the pastors and that fourth person who was transported are still in the hospital. Are they recovering? Uh, some, they have surgeries on other ones recovering, but uh, they go to find at this time. All he would say of the woman that was killed was that she was a dear member of their church community and a pious woman. Now what I can say for sure is the person closed the eye in church but open the eyes and heavens. He says everyone at the Iglesia is leaning heavily on their faith right now. That that happened can probably happen in anywhere, but uh, we need to keep in believing in God, the what is our faith, trusting in God. Aurora police say they think they know who the shooter is and they may have a personal connection to one of the victims. They're working to try to bring them to justice. Javier says that the shooter should take direction from the Bible and turn themselves in and seek forgiveness. You need to pay exactly what you're doing. Now, the names of that woman who was killed and the names of the pastors who were injured have not been released, and Javier and his congregants were not comfortable releasing them to me. In Aurora, Michael Aveta, covering Colorado First. Such a tragic story, Michael. Thank you.